Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video about knit fabric. It seems to really scare a lot of people and it's one of my favorite types of fabric to use. I have just as much of it as any other type and I wear a lot of knit. So I wanted to give um, just some helpful hints and things that I have found over the years when sewing on knits. So what's a knit? So a knit is, a vin is essentially just a fabric that's made from a single yarn that's looped continuously, much like knitting or crocheting. You'll also hear knit and jersey kind of used interchangeable. So what's the difference? Well, jersey is a type of knit fabric. So all jersey is knit, not all knit is jersey. Jersey has the least amount of stretch. Um, it usually only has um, like a two-way stretch, which is basically from your selvage to selvage point. Um, it doesn't have stretch any other direction. So Jersey is the least amount. Um, it's also usually smooth on the front and textured on the back. It is the most common type of knit fabric. Um, knits have either a, a true knit fabric either has a two-way stretch or a four-way stretch. So in other words, like a swimwear material here would have four-way stretch, which means it stretches basically in all directions, parallel and perpendicular to your selvage. There's also things like stable knits, which have very little stretch to them, like this one here. Um, very little stretch, whereas non-stable knits would stretch a whole lot. Um, you might also hear double knit, which is what this is here. It kind of brings to mind clothes from the 70s and 80s. It's essentially two layers of fabric that are knitted together with two sets of needles. And the most common forms would be ponte, which is what this is here. Um, it kind of reminds me, it's very pretty much what they make cheerleading uniforms out of, is a type of ponte knit. Um, an interlock knit, which is very similar to like a common t-shirt knit. Those are different types of double knit. Um, so again, there's so many different types. Um, you've got scuba knits, which I don't have any scuba knits. Um, one of my favorites, French Terry, is another knit. It kind of reminds me of sweatshirt material, only it's a lot lighter. Um, it has that sweatshirt type look on the front side, but it's got more of a, I guess, a terry cloth feel on the back side. Um, you also have your ribbed knit, and this would be what you would find like on the collar and cuffs of um, garments. Um, it's, it's got a rib to it like this. Um, even something a little bit different like this would be a ribbed knit. You've got um, a knit that I really love that's called Pointel. And um, it's easier to find, I think, late recently than it, it has been. Um, but it's got little, like, dots. And that's all Pointel basically is. It's a knit fabric with tiny holes. So you have something like that or even something like this that has the little hearts in it. Um, you can go, you know, again, you have the waffle knit like this, which essentially it's named after the pattern solids, um, which I use a lot of, different prints. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. Um, some are thick, some are thin. I enjoy them because I believe they're, at least for me, they're very comfortable to wear. And I find they're easy to sew on um, if you know your tips and tricks. So the first thing we're gonna cover is needles. Now there's two different types of needles. 
there's one called Jersey ballpoint needles. Um, they've been called just ballpoint needles for years, and now they're pretty much called Jersey ballpoint needles. They come in a variety of sizes. This is a multi-pack that's a 70, 10, 80, 12, and 90, 14. You can also get stretch needles. Stretch needles don't come in as many sizes. I believe they only come in like a 70, 10, and a 90, 14. So what's the difference between these, your regular woven needle, um, you know, why? So if you look at this diagram, you'll see the universal or woven needle at the top, and then the jersey ballpoint, and then the stretch needle. And if you look at the points of these needles, you'll see the biggest difference. The jersey ballpoint and the stretch have more of a rounded tip than the universal woven needle. All right, so your Jersey ballpoint needles, those are gonna be for looser weave, like sweater material. Um, this is an example of a very loose sweater material. It's, you can just tell the weave is really loose on that. Here's another sweater material, um, a sweater knit that's a little bit, uh, has a little bit of a thicker or closer weave to it. Um, so that's what a ballpoint needle is for. A stretch needle is going to be used for highly elastic, elastic fabrics. Um, a stretch needle helps prevent those skip stitches. They can be interchangeable. Sometimes it's trial and error. I find that I use stretch needles a whole lot more than I use Jersey ballpoint. In fact, I pretty much use stretch needles on anything that stretch. If you've never used a stretch needle before and you've had trouble sewing with knits, that could be one of the reasons. Um, again, you know, your sizing with your needles has to do with the weight of the material. So you'd use a, a lower number for thinners, uh, thick, uh, thicker number or a higher number for thicker materials. I would also suggest getting some really sharp pins. Dull pins can tend to pull um, your threads and I also try when I pin pattern pieces or things I try to make sure I'm pinning just through like the outer seam allowances and not like in the center of your fabric. All right, let's talk stitches. This is probably one of the most common mistakes people make when sewing on knits, is they'll use just your normal straight stitch, which can be fine. I do that a lot too. But if your seam is going to have any kind of a stretch to it, like say your neck hole, um, where it's gonna have some pull, some tension on it, you run the risk of snapping the threads. So it's best to use a stretch stitch. Now every machine pretty much is gonna have at least a zigzag. A zigzag is the most common stretch stitch. Um, and you can ch usually change your, your length, your width, things like that. You can also use like um, a little, if you have a little lightning stitch, that's also a stretch stitch. If you have a, um, a zigzag that looks like it's made up of several little stitches in it. That's also a good stretch stitch. These kind of stitches um, will move with the fabric, so as the fabric stretches, the stitch will stretch as well. Um, and that's really what you want to use to keep your threads from snapping. Now, you don't have to use any um, any special thread. You can use regular all-purpose thread and um, you know your tension should be factory set. You shouldn't have to play with your tension. Um, always before you sew on a knit, um, do your test stitches. Make sure you've got the right needle, um, the right stitch going. Stretch it um, a little bit. Stretch your test to make sure that it's got the stretchiness you need. So I hope this helps you a little bit in sewing with knits. If you haven't done it a while, um, 
you know, I hope you'll give it another shot. There's just so many um, different options out there, different things that you can make um, with the knits. They're just, they're very comfortable to wear. And um, if you want a more in-depth look into the different fibers and the different types of knits and things like that, I will link a video below that Charlie over at The Stitchery did, um, which is really, it's a really helpful video on um, the different types of knit and how they work. Um, another good thing about knits that a lot of people don't realize is they don't unravel. So um, you don't have to worry about like finishing your edges because they're not going to come unravel with washing. Now, whether you pre-wash your fabrics, which I usually don't, or um, you, what, you, know, you wait until after, whether they shrink or not is going to be what they're made out of. If they're made out of like polyester, probably won't shrink that much. If they're made out of like a rayon, they might have some shrinkage. Also knits like this one that I use a lot, it's a mostly rayon knit. It's so soft and so lightweight, but it wrinkles because that's the nature of rayon. Um, whereas something that's polyester or nylon may not wrinkle as much. Um, some of them are going to be very breathable some of them aren't. Again, um, Charlie over at the Stitchery goes through all that in her videos. She um, makes garments out of a ton of different types of knits and um, kind of gives you a spreadsheet breakdown of, of their qualities. So I hope this helps. Um, I do, I will be doing a lot more knit, I'm sure, videos on using that type of fabric and stuff like that. Um, but give it a try and happy sewing.